What is it like to do a grid walk? You have seen these on TV and I'm going to give you behind the scenes, well, just everything. We're literally on the grid here. This is a Formula E e -pre at Rome. You can see absolutely insane access. And what is it like? The celebrities, the drivers, the cars, the drama. We're about 25 minutes till the start of the race. So you've got the safety car here at the beginning. This is what's going to lead everyone away. It's a Porsche Taycan. And these behind us here, I won't stand behind them too much. In fact, we will. This is the Formula E broadcast. So these are the official people that you see on TV, which is awesome. Um, but everyone's here. You've got loads of people with the teams. You've got um, people from the hospitality. You've got the friends of the drivers. You've got the family of the drivers, which is absolutely awesome. Here you've got Jake Dennis, who's a pole sitter. This is where it gets really, really, really busy at the front of the grid, is what I've noticed. Everyone wants to be at the front of the grid. And I'm going to show you this sensor here. See this sensor at the, at the front? They all cover the car. I might ask them if, if what that sensor is. Do you know why that sensor is always covered? Uh, so it doesn't overheat. Is it sensitive to...? It's the uh, telemetry antenna. Okay, awesome, there we have it. So it's a, it's a telemetry sensor, that's why they cover it, because they don't want it to overheat. Very cool. And telemetry is really interesting in Formula E, because actually the drivers have to do a lot of the decision making themselves. The team don't actually get the telemetry. They're often watching the TV feed. Here's Sam Bird, by the way, with Jaguar. He's a Formula E driver. He's probably just been to the bathroom, losing some last minute weight before he goes. And here we go, an Envision Racing Team um, car starting in P2. This again, it's a broadcast team. They're doing some last minute notes. Um, you can see they'll know what position everyone's in. They want to cover someone. Maybe they've got a last minute slot with a driver. You can see now it's really starting to get busy. We've got the music in the background, which is going to get me done for copyright, but there we go. And you see there's a bit of carnage here with the Jaguar TCS team um, who have done really well in Rome. It looks like the Jaguar powertrain is actually very well suited to um, this Formula E track here in Rome. And I told you it was going to be chaotic, like we're in the chaos like right now. You can see right here with Jackie with TCS. They've also covered the sensor, and you can see they're waiting to speak here with Sam Bird. Um, one of my favorite drivers, oh my bad. One of my favorite drivers of Formula E, saw him in 2014 in London, um, and he was very kind. By the way, this box here, they literally put dry ice in that box, and then they pump it into the car. Can you see? dry ice in that box and it's ventilated into the car because it's very 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 hot here here's everything that you get with a media team with formula e, and we're just here with the gopro different strokes for different folks right can you see the chaos can you appreciate it here's another broadcast from sport media set that might be national tv um, for someone which is awesome this is actually the uh, guys and girls that I'm with who have brought me here. So this is sponsored by Formula E and these are the amazing people that are brought to which is cool. They're by the Maserati Formula E team. So yeah, very lovely, lucky to have this, very lovely and lucky to have this access and big thank you to Formula E um, for getting us involved. And thank you to everyone who likes, subscribes, enjoys the content because you guys and girls make it possible. Here we go with Neo 333 racing and you can see the engineer there is on the laptop. It's like a Lenovo ThinkPad. It's sort of plugged in and they manually change a lot of the stuff on the laptop because Formula E like to keep things simple. They like to basically not, not allow a lot of the teams to over-engineer the parts, which will lead to more expenses, more cost. So keep respect. See again, Neo 333 have covered that sensor. Very, very, very cool. And there we go. I said 64 degrees I spotted on that monitor, which is very, very, very hot. And here we have the Hankook wet and dry tyres. Now, because it is so hot, I think that groove tyres are actually going to be very handy. So, good to be in the groove tyres. You can see here the umbrella on the car of the Envision Racing Team. There's not a driver in at the moment, but if there was, he'd be keeping nice and cool under that umbrella. Everyone sort of knows each other, which is great to see. Here we have a Maserati Formula E wing just on the floor. We'll get you a really low shot. They've got their cooling solution, which looks a little bit different. They've got to blow it into a box. I might have dry ice in it. 
and then it goes into the front of the car and you can see the vapor actually ejecting out the front which is very 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 cool now as i said it gets kind of kind of gets less dense as we go down to the front of the grid we'll see if we spot any celebrities and that sort of stuff as well um, in fact the grid here i think it actually might go around the corner very interesting grid setup that we have you can see fia formula e here we have a driver here um, antonio felix da costa who is just getting ready in the porsche and here we have a ds penske car so that'll be either john eric Verne or stoffel van dorn driving this one this weekend which is amazing to see and i think yeah i think we're going to go around i think we're going to go around the corner here but i told you it gets a lot quieter at the back so if you want to be on the grid walk get to the back and you can see here the amazing look, look how narrow this car here this car is just so narrow this is why they race these cars on the street circuits because they can, can go two three wide they can actually overtake which is awesome I've been really smart by the way, I've just saved my video there and started again because it is, I think, about 40 degrees centigrade, but it feels a lot hotter. It's very, very, very hot. Now we're gonna go around this corner I told you around. Here we go. What an interesting, it's like a double grid. Look at this. It's like a grid bonus. Um, really iconic corner this at Rome with the, uh, I think it's an obelisk, the monuments there and we immediately get greeted by a neon mclaren that's here you can see trying to keep it cool again they will have their dry ice in this box and then pumping it into the car look at the access you get i mean does anyone kind of think it's a little bit crazy that you've got the formula e race starting and we're just all walking around so close to the cars here's the mahindra this awesome oh god it's a you, content mashup here oh no we've got oh. a pyrithia so yeah if you've got if you qualify badly you not only are at the back of the grid but you're also here's gamer muscle doing some bits the great thing about being a grid is it's just great i just absolutely yeah, love it implemented into every motorsport along with the uh, circular Lane. I'm going to it's pretend I'm trying to get an interview here with Gamer Muscle. This is how it works on the grid walk. Gamer Muscle, can we get a quick word for um, uh, Kirith's YouTube uh, channel? I, I'm sorry, I'm a model. Uh, 50,000 50, subscribers would love to speak with you. Who, what, what do you think of a grid walk? What, what's the great thing about a grid walk? Uh, the best thing of a grid walk, I think it's, it really has to be the, the grid yeah. and the walking part on but, the grid. But this is not strictly a grids walk because we have two grids, really. Okay. This yeah, is kind a of a grid. A grids, a grids, a grids, grids walk. A grids this walks. is my first grids walk, yeah. and I'd say this is, has to be the best. This is the number one grids walk I've ever done. It's, it's great for me as well. Thank you so much, Game Muscle. I'll see you later. I'm trying to get in there. Here is um, the Formula E team. I think that's probably a footballer that I don't know. But let me know if you see. So now we've got the celebrity conversations. Uh, we'll try and, oh God, try and just get around here. Some very smart people have bought umbrellas. You can see here, here's the tools they have. I think this is the Mahindra Formula E team with their tools. Great to see. And we've got Porsche here. Very fast drivers for the Porsche Formula E team, which is great. And here we have driver. You're going to go for a question? Yeah. I'll record it. I love for him. I'll record it. <laughs> no, no, I, I was just seven smarter. You know I raced the Morbius to a series with him. No, I didn't. I'll record it. You got it. I'll be, oh, you got it? Yeah, no, I'll be here. Oh, that's the best way. I'm going to jump in there. What's your foot? Oh. Have good luck, man. Thank you very much. Best of luck. How was your question, Richie? Actually, we we talked uh, shortly. I met his family. Oh, nice. And um, yeah, he's, he's just saying it's greater than in Berlin, what we what we did together. Yeah. 
was like apart from the heat like the first question was like how do you think it is apart from the heat it's so very hot here that sums it up i guess mitchy's a very fast esports racing driver and look out for a lot of content esports r facts 2 everything there goes mitch oh boom on the oh, it's catchy later <laughs> right i'm gonna definitely walk over someone uh, but this is just it's just chaos on the grid um here we go sasha fenestras here who's a driver for um, Nissan and Andre Lotter as well, one of the most experienced racing drivers in the world, actually. And here's DS Penske. Um, the number one sign, I believe, because this will be Sofa Van Dorn's car, who is the reigning Formula E world champion as I make this video. So we're just here with the reigning Formula E champion, and you can see we're getting closer to the monument, which is awesome. And normally I feel like the grid sort of thins out as you get further back. Look at here, we've got the uh, dry ice being pumped in. In the front of the car there, dry ice being, well, it's probably one of the biggest pumps we've seen from the App Cooper team. And it's absolutely flowing out the rear brakes. Desperately trying to keep everything really, really cool today. Which is awesome. And now we are reaching the end of the grid where there will be a medical car. So we're going to complete it. By the way, if you watch this video, if you like it, please hit that like button. Please share the video with your friends and family. I personally really appreciate it. Makes you part of the family as well. Here is Mahindra, Formula E, and a Nissan. Bringing us up at the rear, you can see Sasha Fenestras there, trying to keep very, very, very cool. He'll have um, ice in that jacket. See, his photographer's got a cold towel and with his engineer, they will be going through some last minute, um, maybe regeneration points. So in Formula E, there's a lot more to think about than maybe in Formula 1, you have to work out what's lifting coast, you have to work out your brake bias, you have to work out what you can do on the motors, and that'll be going right now. And here we go, reaching the back of the grid, which is this, the medical car, not the safety car, also a Porsche, and this is gonna be the one What's the car like to drive? Oh, okay, no, it's a Porsche. But what's it like to drive? Good? Uh, uh, good. Fantastic? <laughs> good luck. That's the medical car. Obviously very, very, very fast drive to do that. Look, I've really enjoyed this. I'm gonna end the video here. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you, see you next time.